with you. How many of you have a promise? We must never forget about the promise that's been spoken to you by someone of the five fold or some promise that you've read or experienced in your devotional time. Don't forget how your devotion time got to hold on to the promise. Hallelujah. It's time for the complaining, the grumbling to stop. And it's time to speak what God has promised you. Hallelujah. In a place of worship. In a place of praise. Hallelujah. In a place of meditation. In His presence. In His presence is fullness of joy. Hallelujah. Some of us are just show, showing up. Hallelujah. We show up. Lord God, have your way in a prayer that's foolish babbling. But when you show up, hallelujah, and become present face to face with him, hallelujah, there's a miracle that departs Red Sea. Hallelujah. He said, his word shall follow, I mean, signs, wonders, and miracles shall follow his He's word. But you got to speak the word, says the Lord. Give him glory. Give him glory. Hallelujah. Give him glory. Hallelujah in this house. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just want to say a few things. Even though I coming your way and they seem difficult to overcome you need to know your Red Sea experience lets you know that God knows what he's doing God is able to turn the heads of the king so I don't know who your king is but know that God can turn his hand and change the king's mind in your situation Amen. When we see obstacles, we got to know that God has provided that obstacle to be an opportunity. So it's our perspective of how we look at it. We can focus on the problem, but we need to take our eyes off the problem and choose to put our eyes on God. Glory be to his name. Another thing that we need to know in getting prepared for our Red Sea experience is know that prayer is vital. But along with prayer, when you finish praying, you got to take some action. Yep. Amen. The Bible says, faith without work is dead. Yes. Yes. God will work powerfully yes. on behalf of you if you just obey. And yes, you obey God. by worship and prayer and speaking what he already promised to you. Yes. God stands between you and your enemies. God told me this morning, he said, I have already prepared the table Thank you, Lord God. Ha, for you to sit in the presence of your enemy. Thank you, Lord God. Glory to God. Our God is a miracle worker, and we yes, can Lord. never lose sight of that. Come on, he is a miracle worker, and he is doing a miracle in your life. So know that God is in control, no matter who says, a look like they try to control you and even when you think that you're in control of your own life, you need to know that God is in control and in the end, we will win. Yes. Give him some glory. Yes. 